Hey, uh, I'm Cinda, one of the lead game moderators on LTR. As you can tell, a few things have changed in the Roblox game, formerly known as Lake Territory Reborn. As you can see, it has changed to Lakeside Tales Reborn, and as of writing the script, the game is still called Lake Territory Reborn. However, by the time this video is uploaded, the new name will have replaced Lake Territory Reborn, and we will now be known as Lakeside Tales Reborn. I'm hoping this video can explain to those who are unable to join our Discord or are out of the loop, basically to help figure out what's happened and to shed a few, some light on why things are changing. So a few months ago, Furby and Luca, our head developers, were contacted by Kalabi. For those who are unaware, Kalabi is the company who owns the Warriorcats IP, and they're responsible for protecting their IP. And it is understandable why they contacted Furby and Luca, as LTR was originally a fan game inspired by the Warrior Cats um, book series. The map that we had was originally called Lake Territory Reborn, and it was based around the current canon books of um, the same territory for Warrior Cats. Uh, so on August 22nd, a couple days ago, Furby posted this on the Discord, and I'll do my best to read it out loud. I'm not really the best at reading things, but basically what it says is this. Hello Lake Territory Reborn community. Today, we have to make a more serious announcement. We have been in contact with Kulabi, the company behind the Warrior Cats franchise, in the past few weeks and months. They seem pretty open at first about our game, but once the person in charge changed, we were quickly dismissed and forced to change some things about our game to not be associated with Warrior Cats as a franchise anymore. Kulabi has no plans to extend their license for a late game or make anything else apart from Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition into an official Warrior Cats game. Will Lake Territory Reborn close? No, we will remain operational and continue game development. Nothing will change in terms of the playability of the game. What will change then? We will need to change the clan names. As we are now free to choose whatever we like, go ahead and leave your choice and feedback. What does that mean for the future of the game? In terms of development, nothing much will change. With Kulabi now distancing itself from our project as an official game, we can create whatever we want as long as it doesn't reflect the story or characters from the books. This means more freedom and creativity for the team. Former Shadow Clan can now have tunnels, for example. Why did you not get a license? Is it the money? No, Kulabi simply doesn't want to give out additional licenses apart from Warrior Cat's Ultimate Edition. We don't know why exactly, but for anybody trying to make a Warrior Cat game on Roblox or anywhere else, now you know. We simply got enough attention due to the quality of our game and a big enough player base that Kulabi reached out to us. Does this mean we can't talk about Warrior Cats anymore? No, the community can still play as Thunder Clan, even if we have to rename it to Lightning Clan, for example. See it like Clan Gen or Cat Tales. You can still make Thunder Clan, we just can't officially name them like the clans in the books. You're also free to talk about Warrior Cats on Discord. So only a few names will change? Correct. The game will stay as it is. We were just forced to rename some things in the game. You can still roleplay however you like. As you can see, we have been asked to rebrand. Kulabi wishes for us to change the name of the clans, as well as a few locations in the game, and to remove whatever canon characters we may have in the game. Seeing as it would be a fun opportunity to involve the community, we spent about a day and a half discussing and voting on the new names for the clans. What we chose is to name the clans after their strengths. For example, Shadow Clan is now Night Prowler, Wind Clan is now Meadow Runner, Thunder Clan is now Storm Chaser. Sky Clan is now Cloud Gazer, and River Clan is now Lake Keeper. At the moment of making this, Star Clan of the Dark Forest have been temporarily renamed to Forest of Stars and Forest of Shadows. Please keep in mind that these names are not final, and they may be replaced in the future. We just needed to change them as soon as we possibly could without the game being temporarily shut down, and without risking Kulabi having Roblox shut us down. They only gave us a week to change everything, and reworking everything within a week is incredibly taxing on both Furby and Luca. So, once we change things and Kulabi is off our backs, we'll be able to rework the clans once more, 
and change the names to more fitting ones than the majority of the community can agree on. At this moment, with such a small deadline, we had to push the new names out as quickly as we could so we could distance ourselves from the Warrior Cats franchise and make Kulabi be happy with us. But why has Lake Territory Reborn been renamed? Shouldn't the clan names and a few locations be redone? Well, as of writing this script, Furby has made another announcement. So this announcement was made yesterday as of me voicing this over, and as of writing it, um, it was made, you know, yesterday. I wrote the script yesterday, and Furby posted this yesterday. So this one says, Hey community, today we have to share the biggest change so far to the game since the beginning of development. What happened? Sadly, we have to make another announcement about the current situation. After thinking long and hard about defending ourselves on the topic, today we decided it's not worth it. Kalabi has demanded that we rename our game. As Lake Territory can be taken in context as a Warrior Cats game, cats living in groups in Lake Territory. Why not fight for it? We have been debating fighting for our name Lake Territory Reborn, but it's just not worth it. Kulabi wants us scrubbed from the Warrior Cats franchise and is not allowing us to make any profit from it. Our game has reached a big enough audience, and our one game pass, which is considered monetization and thus our game, fell under Kulabi's radar as infringing on their IP. As our developers have to be paid, we cannot just go completely free, not to mention that Kulabi no longer tolerates us as a Warrior Cats game, even if we were to remove monetization. They made it very clear that we have to remove any connections to the Warrior Cat series, and to change the entire game in only 7 days. We got this mail on the 20th, and they sent the deadline for all changes on the 27th. This is why we have to hurry so much with the votings, and we are sorry for all the pings. What will be the new game's name? This is where you guys come in. Please help us find a new name for our game. We wanted to keep the words Lake and Reborn, but we're not allowed to use territory or a similar word in combination with Lake. We're also open for completely different changes, but it should at least um, include the word Reborn. Post one name suggestion in name suggestion ideas and vote for what you like the most with this emoji. I heard some rumors about LTR getting sued. What's up with that? To quell some rumors, no. We're not being sued at the moment. We have been flagged by a third party as copyright infringement, which has been refuted on Roblox, and Kulabi has mentioned that our game is of too high quality, which makes us look official. Kulabi has stated very clear that they do not want to give out any additional license for any other Warrior Cats projects apart from Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. This means that no, we can't switch development platforms, any Warrior Cats game, no matter what the engine is, will not become official if Kulabi does not want it to. And finally, no, we can no longer talk to Kulabi. They have sent a lawyer to talk with us, and we're no longer allowed to contact them. On a funny side note, um, the Old Lake game was asked to change their name from Warrior Cats Lake Territory to The Lake Territory by Kulabi themselves, but we can't keep Lake Territory Reborn for some reason. We are so, so grateful for your amazing support in this very harsh time, and look forward to creating an amazing cat game with all of you. Keep it positive, we can now continue with our cat roleplay game with a lot more freedom. Development will start once this is all over. We have some great content planned. Kulabi has gone after us due to the name Lake Territory Reborn believing that the game will still be seen as a warrior's game due to the fact that it technically would be about warrior cats, which is rather unfortunate. At the moment, we're deciding on new names for the game. A few new name options that are getting a few votes are Lakeside Tales Reborn and Lake Tales, or Tales, T-A-I-L-S, Reborn, as well as Guardians of the Lake Reborn. For now, I'm unsure who the winner is, but we were looking into changing the game's name as the development team has put quite a lot of time and effort into the game, and it would be a waste to throw it all away because we were asked to stop by Kulabi. So, instead of putting all that hard work to waste and trying to fight back against Kulabi's lawyers, we've decided to comply. 
Furby and Luca are not being sued. As mentioned in the message, there was a third party flag on our game that has been disputed. We have been noticed by Kalabi as our game looks good and it can be mistaken as official. Honestly, we should be taking that as a positive. Lake Territory Reborn looks so nice from what Kalabi said. And despite us being told to change everything, we stood out to them. Even if we look official, Kulabi doesn't wish for us to have a license. They're not willing to hand out a license to any game that isn't Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition, and it's understandable. Warrior Cats is a license to do with what they wish. And that means they can deny anybody a license if they want to. It's bad news for us, but it is what it is. We can now shift our focus away from Warrior Cats as a series and make something new. We can be more creative with our map and groups, and that's totally fine. Our game's name has changed, and names of the clans and territories have also followed in their paw steps. Though, what does this mean for Lake Territory Reborn's future, and what are my thoughts on this? The game will continue and update as it used to. Furby doesn't wish to shut down due to the situation, and we will listen to Kulabi's wishes, distancing ourselves from warriors completely and making our own game that the community we have built can enjoy. A place that is safe for both old and newer role players alike, and can be a welcoming place to those who wish to try our game out. LTR will just become a normal cat role playing game. You're free to do what you wish when you're role playing as long as it's within Roblox's terms of service and our game rules. As for my personal thoughts, I'm disappointed with how this turned out. I've been a fan of Warriors for 16 years, a little over half my life. And it would have been neat if we had gotten a license and ended up working alongside Warrior Cats. I mean, I've been attached to these books since I was in school, and I'm still attached to them to this day. I've been personally enjoying the newest arc of Starless Clan, and I'm looking forward to Ivy Pool's heart in September. However, things don't turn out the way you want them to. We didn't get a license, and we were told to change all our work, and I won't lie, it's made me lose a bit of respect for the Warriors franchise just because of how it was dealt with. I mean, from what Furby told us, the people at Kulabi said that she and Luca would hear from them in a week. And it took them five weeks to get back, with a verdict to change everything in the game. It was just overall unprofessional and unfair. But sometimes that's just life. All we can do is pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and keep trying. I'll do my job to keep our community and those visiting safe, and the development team will continue working on the game, making it better and improving on what we made. Yes, we're no longer a game that's completely inspired by Warrior Cats. And to those wishing to make a game based off of or inspired by the Warrior Cats franchise, it'll probably be a good idea to rethink that. The situation has taken a lot out of both Furby and Luca and as well as the rest of the team. And we don't wish that upon you. We don't want any of you to go down the same path. Before I wrap this up, please keep in mind that this is not a call out video. This is an informative video explaining why Lake Territory Reborn has changed so suddenly. Please do not target or attack Kulabi or Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition. This is not Warrior Cats Ultimate Edition's fault and Kulabi had every right to defend their IP. Please keep in mind that any misinformation, speculating this will lead to misinformation, or any toxic behavior in my comment section will be greeted with deletion. And just like in Lake Territory Reborn, we do not wish for any toxic behaviors between our development team, our team over here at LTR, and any other game or company. At the end of the day, we are just a cat game on Roblox. Thank you for listening.